Hello everyone, I'm here to present a quick overview on how you can set up GitHub code spaces to follow the course. So GitHub uh, code spaces, it's a great tool from GitHub. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a tool that you can have for a remote machine with great resources. And the best part is that if you have a free GitHub account, you can use this already with several hours. So with uh, the free account, you can access the, sorry, the two core and the four core, you see with eight, G, eight gigabyte of RAM and eight, uh, with four gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabyte of RAM. And you have included 60 hours free for the two cores and 30 hours free for the core four cores. So let's go. First of all, you need, of course, to have a GitHub account and you need to create a new repo. Okay, let's create a new repo. Let's call it, um, yeah, it can be Zoom Camp 2004. Louis. Okay. Okay. And let's make it public. It's important to have here the ads, the with me file and let's create. And now we have a new repo. Fantastic. So let's go now to create a code space. It's on this tree here. Code spaces. And I'm going to create a new code space. I'm going to select my my repo, you see. I'll just take the two cores. Uh, in my case, I'm the best is Europe West. So the two cores will take me more time and it's more than enough for this course. So let's create. I'm creating a code. It will it will give a name. It will give a name for the, the code step, a random one. Let's see. You're starting to see that it's showing already. And uh, it's uh, very similar to Visual Studio Code. You see? OK. I already have my code state, code, code space created. However, I want. Uh, to have it on my Visual Studio desktop. So let's go and to this here and open on Visual Studio desktop. Okay, uh, it will say, do you want to open? Yes, I want to open, of course. That's the old idea. Allow GitHub code tape extension to open? Yes. So, one big important thing to have is you need to have the extension GitHub code spaces. You see, it's a free extension. You just need to to Google to put here Git uh, code spaces, and it will show up and then you do install, okay? So I have here my um, my code spaces, my repo, and also, you see in the three dots, terminal, new terminal, my code space. Great, right? And uh, my code space that has a random name, like I said, super space umbrella. So it's, Fantastic because it's already you already have lots of things here like Python for example. With several libraries. And you also have Docker. Great, right? So other things that you might want, 
terraform terraform okay doesn't have terraform but we can go here we don't need this anymore because it's open on our space and we go here to google and terraform download okay the first one is from HashiCorp, and then we're going to find out for linux ubuntu so just copy let's go to our Okay, fantastic, it's already doing everything. And okay, and now we are installing Terraform. On the end, it will say, yeah, it's installed. Great, you're fantastic. Okay, let's run again Terraform version. Fantastic, we have Terraform. Other problem that you may have is with Jupyter Notebook. So you see it has some problem. So you can install pip install Jupyter and it will improve some. So now we can open Jupyter Notebook. Okay, it's opening. Yeah, we can ignore this. And you can see here on the port that we have a 8888 uh, port forward. That's great. And you also have this that you can or copy to your browser or simply control and control, control and with your mouse, poof, and it's opening. You see? Fantastic. And now we have a Jupyter Notebook running. So for example, I can open a new notebook. And on this notebook that I will call it, yeah, of course it will use Python. That this new notebook, I will just do a print hello world. In code spaces. <laughs> okay, so now we have this and we're going to save it. Okay, with some title. Yeah, no problem with that. Okay, let's go back to our Visual Studio code. And you see here already created. So let's uh we can do we can keep the jupyter notebook running the terminal or you can go here and click on this plus and open a new um terminal okay or in my case i'm going to stop it and to stop it you just have to do a control c control c you want to shut up the uh, jupyter server yes i want and it's shut it down okay so now we don't have any port you see Okay, uh, so with this, uh, we can do lots of things, right? Uh, for example, we can run also Docker if you want. Like I said, uh, I will just put here some stuff. Okay, these commands, if you're seeing this before, Seeing the other the other um, videos, these commands will be completely um, clear for you after the, the 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 other videos. But I'm just creating a network here. I'm creating a Docker volume, and now I'm going to run a container to run Postgres um, server on this terminal, okay? In the meanwhile, I'm going to open a new terminal and I'm going to run pgadmin, okay? With the same network, with, uh, the, with this name, with uh, uh, this um, image, 
on this terminal. So in this case, it's already, the database is ready to be accepted, you see. Now we are creating a new container to run PG admin. Still running, okay. In the meantime, we can go here. You see, you have one thing here that says source control, and we can stage all, okay. Then we can write my first uh, note, uh, Jupyter notebook, Jupyter notebook, notebook my first Jupyter Notebook. I just stage, now I'm committing, and now I'm going to push to my repo. And it's done. If you go here to my repos, um, yeah, this one. You see, that, no, nah, it's not this one, <laughs> sorry. This one is the other one. To so this repo, we see that we have here the my first notebook. Okay, so back to the Visual Studio code, we already have, we already have PG admin running on, sorry, on port 8080. So let's go here on port 8080. And let's see, we have PG admin and we can back here to see that the user is this. The password is root. And we're going to add a new server. Yeah. I will call it my server. I'm going to put here the name that we had for the Postgres server. Uh, this is the port, we can keep this. The user was root, also root. And now we have here, again, my server running on PG. So in conclusion, we have this on code space, running one container with Postgres SQL, uh, Postgres, and another container with PG admin. If you want to stop it, if you want to stop it, you just need to do a control C, it's the same. Okay, let's stop it, control C. Okay, so for example, now if I do here, you will say that it doesn't have anything. Okay, and let's stop at this one also and okay that's it uh, i hope you enjoy it and if you have any question then try to see on fact first please do that and then all we all uh, on after that you go to the slack and ask okay happy learning